The second topic being retailers and the various types of retailers and their key functions. Retailing includes all the activities directly related to the sale of goods and services to the ultimate consumer for their personal or the non-business use. This definition has been given by William Stanton. So basically retailers are the ones who provides the goods and services for the final consumption or to the end user. The end user could over here even be the business unit or the normal customers which we come across in our day to day life. Having said that, let's understand the key functions of the retailers. The first and the most important function of retailers is to provide maximum local convenience to the consumers. For exactly this reason, we see that same shop or the same company shop retailers are open in various locations across the same city. The reason being so that the customers can actually access the maximum benefit and extract the easiest and the most convenient location to themselves. The second being small quantity. Since the manufacturer produces in bulk and provides the same bulk to the wholesalers, the wholesalers yet again provide huge quantities to the retailers. However, the end consumer may not require that much of quantity and for his day-to-day -day consumption will only require smaller quantities. This function is played by the retailer, wherein the consumer has the liberty to purchase the quantity as per his requirement and not the quantity which the wholesaler or the retailer is ready to provide. Next being maintaining a wide variety of stock. One of the key functions of retailers is to stock a variety of goods in their shops so that they can have a wide choice access to the consumers. Next being maintaining permanent and continuous relationship with the customers. Since retailers are the ones who are in direct and face to face and regular contact with the customers, they are the primary reasons who can maintain good and long term relationship with the customers that is by building goodwill and courteous behavior. The next being window display and demonstrations. Obviously, the customers come in and walk into the retail shops. Hence, window display and demonstrations as the promotional tools used by various sellers have to be performed by the retailers. Next being meeting the daily demands of the consumers. Since the retailers are at the most convenient and local usage to the customers, they help to meet the daily demands of the consumers. And as already said, they provide even the goods in small quantity. As per the daily requirement, it helps to meet the daily basic basic day-to-day -day needs of the consumer. Next being making decision making and selection of goods easier to customers. This is done by providing a lot of information about the products and by stocking a lot of variety of goods, making the comparison of goods and their various uses and benefits, vice versa or in connection to the pricing, makes it very easier for the consumer to make a decision with regards to which goods are more suitable for them. And finally, providing credit and installment facilities for the electrical equipments or equipments which are of huge price to the retailer, to the end consumer who cannot afford the entire product at one go. Having said that, let's understand the various kinds of retailers. The first type of retailers are the departmental store. This type of retailer is often the most complex offering a wide range of products and can appear as a collection of smaller retail stores managed by one big company. The department stores retailers offer products at various pricing levels. This type of retailer adds high level of customer service by adding convenience enabling a large variety of products to be purchased from one particular retailer. The second type of retailers are the supermarkets. Generally, this type of retailer concentrates in supplying a range of food and beverage products. However, many have now even diversified and supplying products from the range of home, fashion, electrical products also. Supermarkets have significant buying power and therefore often retail goods at low prices. The next being warehouses retailers. This type of retailer is usually situated in a retail or a business park and where the premises rents are lower. This enables the type of retailer to stock, display and retail a large variety of goods at a very competitive pricing.
The next being specialty retailers. Specializing in specific industries or products, this type of retailer is able to offer the customer expert knowledge and a high level of service. They also add value by offering accessories and additional related products at the same outlet. Next being an e-tailer. This type of retailer enables the customers to shop online via the internet and buy products which are then delivered. This type of retailer is highly convenient and is able to supply a wider geographic customer base. E-tailers often have lower rent and overheads so as to offer a very competitive pricing. Yet again, this is a very new concept and has taken a boom in today's e-commerce and the new online business shopping era. The next being convenience retailer. Usually located in residential areas, this type of retailer offers a limited range of products at a premium prices due to the added value of convenience of location to the customers. The last being discount retailer. This type of retailers offers a variety of discounted products. They offer low prices on less fashionable branded products from a range of suppliers by reselling the line and return goods at discounted prices.